Hello everybody and welcome back to the West Coast. This is going to be a very packed video. We've got loads of stuff to do today and it's going to be a proper farming episode. Um, except for the first little piece which is of course going to be winning the lottery which everybody wants to do and we're going to do it today except it's a slightly different approach to buying a ticket. You actually just go over to a waterfall and pick up the 100th gold nugget. So that's what we're going to do to begin with. Um, but what a beautiful view. It really is a very nice place to be. Um, in fact, I don't think I've really appreciated this map as much as I should have done. So, obviously we're going to be doing more episodes in the very near future. So I can really appreciate every aspect of it as much as possible. Anyway, it's only two degrees, so ooh, we don't want to be up here for too long. Um, looks like we have to cross some water. Yeah, there is the gold nugget. Um, yeah, Bullet Bill has um, set us on a bit of a, a tricky task here. Ah, oh, crack, he almost took me in. Anyway, it was worth it because look at this, one million pounds. Now don't worry, this isn't any kind of uh, cheat as such, um, as most of you know it's already part of the game. It is there for us to do it and the way we're going to actually um, go around this is to do something realistic. Instead of just sort of celebrating that we've won a million pounds and buying 50,000 bottles of champagne, we're going to actually just try and disguise the fact as much as possible by buying things that we actually do require and putting the money into land and to be honest I should think about three big fields would wipe out all of that money anyway now there is one issue I am on a cliff and um, we need to be at the yard so it's a bit of a long way back and I don't really fancy it so let me just um, yeah let me let me just do this off screen okay so here we are, and you can see on the minimap that we have collected everything, in case you were wondering uh, if I had cheated at all. Nope, we have picked up every single gold nugget, and it's going to be worth it. Uh, the shame is that it's going to be raining today, so there's not really anything we can do outside, but if we can get this done before it does rain, that would be fantastic, because we need to go and load up a trailer of canola, or oilseed rape, since there is a great demand. So we really must not miss out on this. Luckily, we already have quite a bit of canola in the trailer, which means that we'd have to load it up as, well, not that piece anyway. Oh, great start. I think probably, if I just put the trailer here, that is the wisest place for it to be. And actually, we, we need to go and get the wheel loader. The wheel loader is, I'm assuming, over at the BGA. We used the Rumbler van, the transit van, to get down there. Not going to teleport again. That would be just way too much teleporting in one day. And we may feel a bit queasy. It's probably best if we just take the proper and old-fashioned approach. Well, I call it old-fashioned, but the approach of driving. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be taking a horse and trap. Which probably would be quite a fun thing to do. But still, we have the transit, so we'll make use of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're crazy farmers. I've just pulled out in front of a, a pickup or a car. What was it? I, I don't know. It was so close that I missed exactly what it was. Oh, it's a pickup. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll put the craziness to one side. This is the realistic series. Uh, so we must make sure we, we stay as realistic as possible. It's things like that that just confirm it's a game. Although, actually, some people do drive as badly as that in real life. And that is a fact. Anyway, yes, the BGA is just down here. We're going to swap over. We'll leave the Rumble van over here. Because we will be back. We've got other stuff to sell. And this time I'm going to properly look to see if there's any cars coming. Okay, so there it is. I've put it in the shed. And what we must make sure of is that we actually don't use it for too long. Because it's going to be very expensive if we let it run over an hour. It currently has 0.3 hours use on it, which is brilliant. We've got loads of time left. Um, but still, we don't want to get carried away. I'm going to put the beacon on. There's still a few people getting annoyed about me travelling with the bucket too high. But you don't want it too low, because it's going to slam into the ground. So, yeah, it, maybe it was a bit too high in the previous episode. But I wouldn't really have picked up on it because it wasn't like right up in the air still I must please my subscribers 
Right, okay, so what we're going to do when we're driving back to the yard is just very briefly talk about um, the multiplayer server. Basically, I'm still going to do the server opening on uh, a Sunday. This doesn't mean I need to renew the server. It was on a, a one-year contract, which is coming to an end, I think, this week. So that's going to have to be renewed. I'll probably be doing it monthly, just in case I do decide ever to stop the server for good. But I've done it before, and I keep bringing it back, so I don't think it will be going anywhere. But it will only be open one day a week, just while I'm available to be in the server as well. Um, but obviously yesterday's episode was a little bit crazy, as multiplayer episodes do tend to be. Um, somebody said, why don't you just stop members of the public or your fans joining the server and just play with decent players that you know are decent? Well, yeah, that does sound tempting. Um, because obviously it's going to guarantee a perfectly sort of well-produced and realistic or semi-realistic video. But then uh, I'm not really that kind of person. I don't want to just sort of shut the door in the face of fans who want to play on the server and want to play in the server with me um, just because maybe they're not playing properly. I know it can be frustrating to see, but at the same time, it does seem a bit harsh really just to sort of say no nope, get lost I don't want you in the server because you you don't play properly because at the end of the day it is only a game so I think I would feel really bad if I did that I'm sorry but I must have a heart I suppose um, I, I think it's probably different for somebody just viewing the video because obviously it's not your server and stuff um, it's easy to say that but when you're actually the owner of the server you do sort of you do feel more for people, more for the players who are in there. So I don't know, I don't know. I'll keep thinking about it, but I think, yeah, I couldn't bring myself just to kick everybody off just because maybe they're, I don't know, um, creating a bail stack and then ramming through it. But I did that anyway, so I can't really complain. And it was fun. Except I did aim for the bail stack and completely missed it the first time round, which was highly embarrassing. Still. I hit it in the end. Okay, let's get this loaded. It shouldn't take too many bucket loads since this is a fairly decent size um, universal shovel, as they call it. I did actually question why it's called the universal shovel and many people did reply. And they basically, I think it was just saying, so it doesn't restrict what its intended use is and obviously it's used for many different materials. But I think I probably will just still call it a bucket. It just seems to be easiest. And probably most people will know it as a bucket rather than a universal shovel. We can use high tip, but it's not really a very tall trailer. But we should get a very good price on this. This is why I'm sort of rushing. Because obviously if we wait too much time, we're going to lose the great demand. Which would be terrible. It would be very, very bad. Right, so, um, basically as well, my uploads, I haven't been putting many uploads on at the weekend, and the reason for that is because I've actually hit my satellite internet limit. I upload everything through satellite, obviously because the land line, or whatever you want to call it, is not good enough. Um, so I've actually been restricted to how many videos I can upload for the next few days, which just seems ridiculous, but it's the, just the way it is. Um, I actually pay for a very big package because I think all satellite packages are restricted um, but I, yeah I pay a lot a month to get faster internet so I'm trying my best but hopefully after I think it's about the 11th of uh, October it will unlock a bit more and I can put some more videos on so hopefully this weekend there will be a machinery restorer video in fact there will be because I've just been editing it and there may be a dagger win extra, I'm not too sure. Um, I did actually do a test stream the other night. I don't know if anybody watched it. It was only about three minutes long, so chances are you missed it. But it was over on the Machinery Restorer channel, and it was the first ever live stream I have ever done. The first one ever. I did it through my iPhone. And the reason why I could do that is because like, that was running through 4G. Um, and I do actually get, amazingly, I, get, I just about get 4G outside um, so I did manage to do a quick stream it had one bar of signal 
so it sort of kept cutting off and it actually attempted four times so um, it actually posted through to everybody's feed who was subscribed to me four different live streams starting soon and I think I lost about 10 subscribers because of it because obviously it packed up everybody's um, live uh, feeds which obviously wasn't appreciated by a number of people but I suppose if they're going to unsubscribe for that they're not really true subscribers so I'm not really too worried and I did start the stream in the end anyway all three minutes of it right actually um, maybe this isn't the best price just here let me just check hopefully there's no car behind us I would like to make sure we take it to the correct place uh, wow look at the price Little Woolhope Farm oh, typical is that that's a different way isn't it that's down at the bottom or is it not? Oh, it's the red farm. Oh, okay. So we actually are sort of going the right way for this. So I could have gone the other way though. But it's not really going to make much of a difference. It's very dark. I am playing at times five as well because I'm trying to get as much done before the rain. And also, I just don't know how long this episode is going to be. Because I've got quite a lot of jobs in mind, I don't want to sort of blitz through the entire day and then find that we get to the end of the day just as it's going dark that I still want to do a really big job so if I just keep it at times 5 for now I can put it at times 15 later which is our standard time rate and we can pretty much guarantee that we're not running out of time and it's going to be nice and well hopefully sunny but it is you know, it's showing rain I hate rain although rain is good rain is good for stuff just not too much Well, the uh, little Woolhope farm is just up here, but I will jump cut because it does take a while to get there. Very easy to spot this one because it is directly opposite the first junction on the left. So if you've gone past the first junction, coming from this direction, you've missed it. It is, I would say, pretty much perfectly opposite. I don't know if it is exactly, but it's very, very close. Let me just see. So the turning left is there. Uh, it looks like it is just slightly before. Auto saving as I turn. But this is the place we need to collect our eggs and clean the sheep area, both of which aren't really a priority. If it says feed the sheep, then I would do likewise with the water. I would like to just move on to a different job. This is actually the last day of autumn. So if we want to do anything with grass, we can do. Oh, where does it go? Is it up there? I keep forgetting. I think it's up here. I think it is. I thought wrong. Is it around there? Hmm. Come on. Work. There we go. Couldn't find my legs for a second there. Right. So here is the cell point. A very interesting take on a cell point, I have to say. But I like it. It does work. We should get an astonishing price for this. It may well block the amount of money we get for it. The uh, notification mod. Possibly. Yes, it did. Uh, somebody mentioned that the glance mod is probably better because it doesn't block the way of the prices. But it's very hard to say, really. It's very hard to say which one's going to be better. They're both very useful. Now I'm going to dash back up to the... Oh, yeah. I'm dash back up to the farm. The other farm. And load up the next trailer load. It should be the final load. Then we're going to move back here selling a bit more oilseed rape. So I'll see you up there. Back at the farm to load up trailer number two and hopefully the final trailer load. I don't think it's going to fill it totally. Maybe a bucket or two. Right, okay. It's very, very useful though the wheel loader. It would be very nice to own one but at the moment we can't really afford it. Even with the a million pounds we can't really afford it. 
because as you know we need to buy numerous amounts of machinery and also we need to buy probably two or three fields I think we'll probably say two but not two minute ones if they are tiny if I do find some really decent ones and they're small we'll try and get three um, but obviously the field prices are incredibly expensive even though I think the west coast prices are cheaper but without buying a field yet I wouldn't really know Right, is that going to be one bucket load or is it deceptive? Is it more or is it less? I'd say it's very close to a bucket load. Hmm, I think it is going to be pretty much exactly one bucket. It's very hard to scrape up the dregs. There we go. Right. So we'll put that into the trailer as well. And that can go back down to the same farm to get the very, very good price. Let's hope it is the same. Yep, still very good. Perfect. Right, well, the, the wheel loader does need to be returned. But I'm going to put it in here just for the time being. Because obviously it's something we can do when it's raining. I'm trying to prioritise the jobs which need to be done when it's not raining. That is a way out, actually. Uh, but I don't really want to be opening and closing more gates. We've already got this one open back here. So I'll just go the way I know, and I'll see you a Little Wool Hope Farm once again. Right. Let's get it sold. I'm guessing it's going to be in the region of 20, yeah, about 20,000 pounds. Obviously, I haven't done any mathematical um, sums there. Just a guess, a total guess. Obviously, you can do the maths if you want to. It's about 1,500 pounds per 1,000 litres. We've got just over 11,000 litres. Um, but it's kind of irrelevant to me anyway. As long as we get a good price, which we are going to, that's all that matters. Right, let's get that sold. Yep, it's a good price, very good. Perfect. So, with that done, I think the best approach for us is to go down to the store and also go via some fields because I want to buy the fields today. So I don't really want you to all think that we've got so much money it's stupid. This is, yeah, this is a very tight area to be in. Also today, I would like to buy um, some of the old generation Matty Ferguson mods by Black Sheep Modding. Because I have used them before, obviously, you'll know. I'm really ramming into everything here. I used them in um, Ballymoon Castle, but they've been updated since then, and I never even used the self-propelled forager or mower. And I really would like to get that because obviously we do, well we're supposed to do a lot of grass work here but I've been let down by the lack of equipment so if we can get some of that stuff then that would be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go back to the store, uh, up to the yard, then we're going to go into the uh, the wheel loader, take it to the store and then obviously we'll be at the correct place then and uh, we can come back in either a new machine or the transit van no teleporting will be required which is just perfect I'm going to put the trailer into this barn here it doesn't seem to be used by much, I used to use it quite a bit we should put it to more use right, ok and drop it off put the tractor next to it in the other bay and then we'll run over to the wheel loader. And we probably should actually shut the barn door where the barley still is because I'm waiting for a great demand on barley. I'm actually pleasantly surprised about how 
quickly the oilseed rape great demand came along because it was obviously very useful and it will be very useful in a, in a few minutes when we come to buy stuff there we go okay off we go let's get this thing returned it looks like we only put about well it'll be about half an hour once we're back at the store but that's better than using it for more than an hour and getting charged an astronomical amount uh, just to keep it for maybe, I don't know, five or six more minutes. Which is likely what it would be. Here we are at the Massey Ferguson or Agco dealer. And oh, look how a fertilizer bag is still there. How strange. We will need it one day, but that needs to be returned first. Right, so into, I think, Harvesters first. It should be, oh, look at that. That is one of those new ones in the new pack. Um, very, very nice. Obviously, I'd love to use it, but I think really for this particular map, it's not going to be suitable just because it's a big map and it needs some big machinery. Um, but definitely on maybe even a multiplayer video, we could use that. It'd be very nice to see. So just going to have to, unfortunately, hold off buying that for this um, series but in the future we'll definitely get it right forage harvesters here it is that I would love to have equally it would be quite nice to have one of these but I suppose I don't know I suppose yeah you could do you could do although hmm, they that is sort of having two machines very similar to each other um, although yes I think it is only used with the cutter so actually having said that that machine does do a different job to this machine. This one simply mows the grass, this actually picks up the swaths of grass and also straw and hay. So both of them would be very nice. In fact, that is a very cheap machine. I'm surprised about the price. I suppose if you think about it though, it is fairly old. So let's go for it. Um, we've got to have the warning triangle, surely. It's always worth having the warning triangle. Nope, not the rostle mash. We need the cutter. Hang on. The cut is £25,000. No, 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 no. That's not right, is it? That can't be right. It's got to be for the... Hmm. That is right. That is indeed right. It says it's for grass. Oh, well. <laughs> can't complain. We've got the machine itself cheap. So, who cares? Hmm. There is still a universal shovelage there. Right, let's jump into it. Now, I don't think we're going to be using it today because, in fact, the rain is just setting in now. You can't actually see anything yet, but it's gone hazy. When it goes hazy, it starts raining within the next couple of minutes. So, any second, it's going to turn grim. But I am really looking forward to using this thing. So, that's attached. Let's just lift it up. And it, it can actually tow a trailer. It probably can't tow this just because of the type of machine. If it can do, that would be useful. Oh, it can. Wow. Well, that's going to get those things back in one piece. Oh, look how grim this weather is. How horrible. Well, it looks like there actually is going to be nothing to do today in the end. But at the same time, we do need to buy fields. And we do need to take this back to the yard. Now, I know that we do need to leave aside quite a bit of money. For example, we do need to buy a fertilizer spreader. I suppose it's no bad thing buying it now, just because then we're at least going to know um, that we don't need to keep quite so, money, so much, much money. Hang on, wait, let me just say that again. So much money set aside. It's the coon one I was going to buy. Um, in fact, they're the same width for a completely different price. Well, I would definitely go for the mounted one. So we'll buy that as well. We can't pick it up today. So it's just going to have to stay here. What else do we definitely require? There are obviously loads of things. They will come to me, and I'm sure you'll post down below as well. Uh, oh, we, oh, yes, the Merlot. The Merlot. We definitely require that. So I won't buy it today. I'll buy it next time. But that is £90,000 plus the attachment, so it's certainly £100,000 needs to be put aside for that. So, yeah, just basically saying here that we can't go absolutely bonkers with what we buy. 
um, with regards to the fields. But at the same time, um, we do need to buy some land. It does have a trailer. Well, you know what? We can't be uh, going on the road like this. It's highly illegal. So it looks like somebody else is going to have to bring back this uh, auger on the back. We'll simply take our own header. I love that. That is so multi-purpose. It's not like a header trailer. You can actually use it for anything. It's going to be very, very useful. Perfect. Well, we'll attach this to the back instead. Look at that. It's going to be sunny after the rain. Thing is, though, everything will be so wet. And then... Well, it's only 7 degrees and tomorrow is winter, so we can't do anything anyway. The farm is going to go dormant for a number of episodes just because it's going to be winter. We're going to do forestry. Yep, exactly, we need to put money aside for that as well. We're going to do forestry, snow clearance, sheep work, we need to buy some more sheep because we've only got 10 and 10 is nowhere near enough. And. Yeah, obviously there's loads of odd jobs that need to be done as well. What a grim day. Just letting the traffic pass. Right, so while we're going back, we need to see exactly where the best fields are going to be. They want to be around the farm, so possibly field 16, possibly field number 3. We'll stop at field 16 first. Which is just up here. Uh, it's currently ploughed, so it's going to save us a job next year. Probably should put the beacon on too. Just to really warn the public that there is something quite wide coming. Okay, so I'm going to pull over here. As much as I can do. They don't have the intelligence to sort of drive past you in this game, so... They'll just have to wait. It's a pretty good price. Yeah, the prices have definitely been adjusted. Where is the entrance to field number three? Ah, oh, it's way up. It's miles up here. Hmm, no traffic. Simple engineering. Oh, here comes a joyrider. Okay. The gate is actually down this side road. But we should certainly be able to afford it. Yep, very good as well. Let's continue. That's where we need to go to eventually. Oh, this is where all the traffic is. So much traffic. Right. Stop here. We'll buy fair number 5 and fair number 4. They're quite big fields, in fact, very big fields. Yep, the prices have definitely, without a doubt, been changed. To be more realistic, though, possibly a little bit underpriced. Yeah, a bit underpriced, but still, not bad at all. So I think that is enough buying of fields for this episode. We're going to be buying, um, basically, fields around the three main yards that we use, which is Little Wool Hope, Hill Ridge Farm and Mountain View Farm and River Rock Farm, so four actually because um, we do need to have a number of grass fields as well so although it looks like we've still got loads of money actually we don't because um, that is going to be consumed very very quickly but having said that it still really helped us an awful lot we couldn't have done without the extra income that we got the gift as we could call it right so off we go. I'm going to park up and we're going to obviously put this away for the winter. It's a shame because I really want to use it but in actual fact although the winter does drag on for a long time because we'll be doing probably two days into one episode uh, it won't be too long at all. In fact three episodes maximum before we can use it because we're going to be using it in the spring. So it'll be no time really within a week. Looking forward to it. 
and it's turned out to be a very very nice autumnal day but this must be November because yeah like I say it is winter in the next day so it must be December next and it does turn bleak fast everybody loves winter yeah not really the sarcasm oh I left the John Deere's lights on what a fool what an even bigger fool can't believe it I suppose that is one of the big problems with how long this thing is and how the trailer isn't rear wheel steer it is very hard to get it around the very tight bends anyway there we go it is actually a shorter episode than I was expecting it to be but there's nothing we can really do unfortunately now I suppose if we were being cheeky we could uh, go and quickly fetch a load of grass off the fields but then it's still wet and it's so late in the year it's just not really worth it so yeah I think that is it for today thank you so much for watching at least we've got a very good, great demand we've also finished off with a number of fields which we didn't own before and some new machinery and much more to come so thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one until then though bye for now